Hello, hello everyone. I am Darkness and welcome back to White Day, a labyrinth named school. We've got Ji Hyun over here who is going to show us to something that probably is a bit spooky and I don't want to see, but we'll see what goes on. I thought the spookiness was going to be in this room with the leaking faucet, but um, I was sorely mistaken. So let me go ahead and crank it again so that I can crap my pants properly. And we'll get to it. Come on, girl. Could you go check for me? I have to check first. Great. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Nailed it. Uh, crazy shit going on down here, y'all. Uh, you want to... You want to... Oh is, is there a light? Can I... Oh, it doesn't matter. I'll just ignore that for a second. Go right to this document. Mystery, mysterious note. An upside down clock pendulum. His voice shall be the key to unlocking the secret of music, appreciation. Maybe it's one sentence and I shouldn't have broken it up. An upside down clock pendulum, his voice shall be the key to unlock the secret of music appreciation. No, that sounds worse. Uh, yeah, I can't turn the note around. These, these people assume that I'm a lot smarter. I really hope that taking a little break from this did not make me stupid enough to, uh, the puzzles. Yep, got more soy milk in my pants. Just in case them girls are lactose intolerant, I got soy milk in these pants. Alright. Yeah, I'm inspecting. Got it! Where is this a key to? Piano bench key. Oh, okay, cool. I'll unlock the thing that's right here. I unlocked it. Gasp. Another picture piece. Oh, that's good. Um, that puts me at needing one more piece, I think. Uh, it has some numbers written on the back. 1328. Does this one have? Okay. So now we've got a code for that door behind us, 1328. Uh-oh, cutscene. Hey, oh. Jishan. Where have you been? I've been looking everywhere for you. I is that so? I didn't know. Sorry. Ladies. Going. He's too busy chasing after so young. Come on, what are you doing? Uh, wouldn't it be smarter to stay together? Yes. Don't you get it? He doesn't care at all about us. Yes, I do. And even if you're in the same class as him, can he be trusted? D depends on... Well, he probably doesn't know his way around here yet. So what? We don't know him at all. I'm right here. <gasps> Look at this. Fine. Do what you want. It's easier for me if I don't have to babysit anybody. Okay, that's... You. I'll be watching you. Be careful. I'll be watching that ass. Okay, so... I'm, I'm, I have to make a time... Uh, mark me the time. What's the matter? Oh, baby cakes. Hi there. Uh... Where are we going? Uh, closest bedroom. Um, thank you for staying with me. Ooh, look at those eyes. Okay. Hold on. We're going this way. So come on. This picture I got had numbers. Uh, I've already forgotten. Uh, 1328? Is that? Um. Choo -choo. I didn't forget. 
one, three, two, eight. I unlocked it. Gasp. Ooh, buddy boy. I want that. The CD is in the CD tray. No shit. I can also try to play that tape in there. There's a lot of things going on with that that I want to get. Can I scoot something to it? You, you want to. I think Sung A is just fine. I, I think she's just honky dory. No ghost pop out of these little things, right? Cool. Not ready for that. I, that there's a few things I'm ready for. That is not one of them. Let me let me make sure I'm super not ready by cranking the volume a little bit more. Super not ready for it, whatever it is. Oh, there's the last pi uh, piece of the picture. Bam. Part of the ripped picture. It seems the other pieces are needed to make the whole, uh, make out the whole of the picture. Yeah, I know. I got that covered. Now I just need to get up there. So, is there an object I can grab? Like a chair? The bench? Can I, can I grab the piano bench? Sing us a song, the piano man. No, that picture isn't interactable. Can I pull out a drawer and possibly get up there? Hold on. Hold the phone. Why did I hear the squeaking? I don't like the squeaking. Can this drawer come out? Can I step on the drawer? Ah! Come on. Okay. Play by ear rules. Come on, obligatory sexy girl with glasses. We gotta do some shit. I'm gonna go down here first before I go to... Alright. Jihyun, I don't know if you knew this, but there's some things happening in here. Stop it! Oh, it's the same board. Okay. I'm just an idiot that keeps running over the same spot. I heard there was a student who killed herself with poison in the upstairs art room. Yeah, right on it. Let me go find that picture first. And I think with you with me, I do not have to worry about the jagum. Now this I tried to say it was just a rumor. You're upside down. Upside down, clock face, something or other, blah, blah, blah. And I can't change any of this. It won't let me interact with it. Um, interact with the bottom. That doesn't do anything. Interact with her bottom. Stay on course. If I think it's a true story. I think it's probably true also at this point. I'm going to agree with you on this one. You're creepy. I believe the painting, yep, it's in here. Okay. Oh, did I forget something in here? A trank, yep. Get some of those. When I wanna go in for the, for the, for the awesomeness with the, with the ladies, I, I make sure to pack a trank in my pants. Where did, where did you go? Come here. The earthquake is getting worse. Come here. Fine. Jeez. Yep, that's it. Yeah. This probably had something to do with the vase at the end of the room. Or the end of the hall. Hold on, hold on, I'll be right back with you, girl. I get a freebie... No, shut up. I get a freebie run down to the lost and found. I, I can't pass, pass this up. The vase from the music teacher uh, teacher's portrait. Something rattles inside. 
Ah, uh, remote. Remote control used uh, for stereo systems. Yeah, buddy. This is still a thing? I can't read that. Okay. Why couldn't I just look in there without having to solve that puzzle? Okay. Girl, you're gonna come back with me to the uh, art room and then we're going to, uh, or the, uh, the music room. And then we'll go check out what you're saying with the art room. So come on. Girl. Come on. We got this. We're not going in there. Yay. She was Pergonanant? Are we talking about the one that was roaming the halls? The fetus was her baby? Man, everyone had that story wrong then. What? Uh. That was just it? Okay. CD was found in the music room. It seems to have belonged to dead me. Kind of heavy for a CD. Hey! Art room key. That's right. That was there was one of the uh, something or others that mentioned that that's how it was on the CD if you found it. So I was supposed to do all that. All right, girl. This hall's a mess. I do not want to get stuck with douchebag ghosts. Oh, I'm a man. I can do this. I'm a man. I'm a man! I didn't do this! Like, he's playing it. Yeah, get more. In case you're lactose intolerant, my milk is soy. Uh, which floor is the art room? This one! I hear a baby crying around here. I saw the baby. Oh, God, baby. Um, that just me or okay, that was a thing. It's the thing that happened. I can tell. I've always found that kiln eerie. It's like a crematorium with burning corpses, right? I hope not. Don't open the door, there's a baby. Room's locked. Ah! <laughs> Holy shit. I need the baby totem. Or the mother totem. Whoa! Are you kidding? Where's my girl? I oh I got left alone for that. Oh, this is timed. I gotta, I gotta turn this out of my ears. Oh crap! Yeah, I go. I went the wrong way. Crap! 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 Holy smokes! That was loud. Okay, there's giant fetus is not happy. Did I pop down to the correct floor? Ah uh, no! Ah uh, no! The floor is cracked. Working on it. I don't see glasses girl around helping me out. Jesus. This has got to be a simple one, right? Run, get the get the mother totem, run back. Uh, it looks bone dry, as if it's bone. Run back. That's all there is to it, right? Nothing, nothing in the way. Mm mm. Nope. 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 I got it. No. Oh. Document. Oh, another ghost story is here? Oh, wow. 
We'll, we'll read that when it's not, you know, pulsing. Ah, oh, one more floor up. Dad gummit. Ah, oh, it's disorienting when I screwed up by running upstairs first. I've got all the floors as being one lower. Don't, don't, don't. Baby, come here. Come on! I thought that's what I had to do! I gave the baby the totem! Oh, the kiln. She mentioned that thing. Okay, hold on. Hold on. So, she mentioned the kiln. Yeah, skip all of that. Alright, skip all of that. So, there's a kiln here. And this has got to be important. Um, let's go get the totem first. Document. The art mentor exam. Creating a clay doll. Oh, this is important. Okay, okay, okay. Instructions. To complete on schedule, create the clay doll uh, following the directions below. Materials. Use special education clay. Need the clay. Uh, form a shirt and safe. Dry in a cool place. It's bone dry. Use the electric kiln to fire it. Cool it slow, slowly under running water. The, the, the tap water upstairs. Okay. All right, all right, all right. We got this. So I know what I need to do with it. All right, so I just ran blindly into it last time. There was my problem. Running blindly into it. Okay. Is the ghost story on the floor up here? Or I mean down here? No. The floor is cracked. Oh! That's the floor is cracked thing. A one-sided love. We'll, we'll read that in just a minute here. I'm glad I went back down there to crack the floor. Okay. I got this. I got this. I totally got this. This is, this is something I got. You can believe in me, Mr. Got This. Alright. Here we go. Not hard. Dry clay doll. Alright, then we take it upstairs. That's why the timer is as long as it is. Like, it wouldn't. I guess it makes more sense that the timer is this long now. Alright, so then we take it up two floors. Back to Angry Baby. in the kiln or can I just turn on the light turn on the light turn on the light yeah yeah let me yeah I really need to put the thing in there there we go there we go how long is that gonna take This is not how fast these things work. This is just not... They're having to work on the deadline of the game. Oh, that's hot. Hot, 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 hot. Uh, it should be cooled under running water. Got it. I read the instructions. Hold on. All right, so I go one down. Going dur, dur. Um, all right, and then the science lab, is this it? Yes. Okay, light switch. I was sure that there was going to be a ghost here. I, I mean, I, all right. Yay. Finish clay down. Is shaped like a woman. Couldn't tell before. Don't know why it had to be finished for the baby to be happy. Alright. So now... Wait, wait, wait. How many floors do I have to go down for that? Okay. It's 
So now it shouldn't kill me, right? And there's another document. Um, r the rumor come. Yeah, we'll go to rumors and ghost stories in a second. Uh, I do I just, I just don't trust this. Oh come on! I did all the things. Where was I supposed to put it? Hold on. Apparently, I gotta do it again, but I gotta do it better, correctly. Whichever way they want me to do it. Son of a... <sighs> Whatever. I'm, I'm doing it. I'm on it. Uh, I don't know. I'm talking because we're back here again. Oh, there's a felt tip pin. Yeah, I needed that. I don't know what to do about you. Um, I have it. Damn it. Can I put it down? Oh... My God, are you serious? None of those times did that icon pop up. Son of a. Okay. I did it. That was infuriating. That is a mechanic I am not going to enjoy in this game, and I I won't live it down. That damn tree had the same thing going on, where I was spazzing out trying to run away, and so the quick time events didn't pop up, at, even after I had the, the lighter... I ran straight into the baby. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have tried something else. But my God, how many things do I have to try before a simple little icon pops up? Like I have to be within inches, but not too many inches to get grabbed? Ah, damn it, baby. Okay. Mother and baby clay. Uh, mother and baby clay doll. A clay doll in the shape of a mother and a baby holding hands. And the Earth token. Where's my girl, though? Where's my girl? Okay. Well, I lost her. She's gone forever. Do I put the... Do I put the new one down? Um, uh, where's the last one found? Yeah, it's one more down. So do I put it down here before I go through this door? Hold on. We're gonna see, and then I'm gonna read you some stories, and then we're gonna be finished with this one after we go through that door. So. Story time! Yeah, I, we, we got nothing for that. So. I believe it's story time, where we're gonna read some things, and I already read them trying to... I already read them trying to suss what I should do. Uh, so, okay. We have the ownerless diary, which sounds like it should be a ghost story, and then ghost story 13, a one-sided love. So I, I glanced through a one-sided love and didn't think it had anything to do with it. Ownerless diary, however, we know now we're... Let's read, and you'll know who that ghost was and who the baby was. All right. February 14th is Valentine's Day. He seemed like he enjoyed the chocolates, even though he said otherwise. It's not even 100 days yet, but I feel like we've known each other for a long time. I hope this doesn't change. We know we love each other, but it's nerve-wracking sometimes. Are other people like us, too? February 20th. I've caught a cold. I called him. Hearing him angry startled me, but also made me happy. It came off as awkwardly cute that someone like him, who rarely shows emotion, was worried about me. But is screaming, why the hell did you get sick the only way to express your concern? February 26. I wonder if I got fat during the winter. I feel all bloated lately. He made fun of me for my weight gain. He didn't make it sound so bad. What I'm really upset about is the fact that he doesn't express his emotion. Blah. Okay. Cultural thing real quick. 
weight gain and fat shaming in cultures that are Eastern, not here in the North Americas, uh, and not Europe, but fat shaming in other, like not being a bean pole is is a is a big deal and causes a lot of anxiety and de- depression, especially in adolescence. This is that's a huge statement, and I'm glad I actually know that. So, March fifth, everyone's still getting used to the new term, but they all look happy. It's good seeing everyone laugh, talking and laughing together, but it was impossible to see him once school started. We both knew we were busy because of schoolwork, but it didn't stop me from missing him. Lately, I have been feeling sluggish. I think I didn't get enough exercise during the winter break. Yeah, more leading towards that. Oh, never mind. I've already read this. I know where it's going. March 14th, White Day. All the kids were buzzing over Jum... Jum Jin all day. I think her boyfriend snuck into school last night to leave her a box of candy. Damn the girl. She's practically cl- practically been glowing with glee all day. I know I shouldn't feel this way, but I feel annoyed at her. He didn't do anything for me. I was so sad I could die. March 20th. It's too early to call it spring. I think I'm down with, uh, down with the cold. My body is out of whack. I mean, I'm a senior after all, but still. I talked to him on the phone today. He said something about the duties as a student and whatnot. He meant that we needed to take a break from seeing each other. I feel suddenly scared. I'm scared that I'll never see him again. March 25th. The midterm schedule is set. Today is our 100th day anniversary. We didn't even get to talk on the phone. I'm sure he's busy, but I desperately need to hear his voice and see him smiling. I can hardly control my emotions. I keep thinking about killing myself. April 4th. With a sense of dread, I ran the pregnancy test. The result wasn't what I had hoped it would be. Having a new life inside of me was scary, but in a way it made me feel better. I'm worried about his reaction. Should I tell him? Maybe you'll take it more maybe you'll take more interest in me, but at the same time, wouldn't I be a burden to him? April 8th. His reaction was unexpectedly cold and scary. He even threatened that if we that if that he will never see me again if I don't lose the baby. It scared me to death. But I will give birth to this baby no matter what. I am thankful to the new life inside me. I will keep it even if I have to die. I can't stop looking at the cover of the art book. It's a picture of a clay doll of a woman and her baby holding hands. Art book. Oh. Um. Is there an art book that I need to put that on? Okay. I'll figure that out. And there's a ghost story now here too. Yun Soon, a junior in high school. It's called One Sided Love. Was happy to attend school lately because of the new Korean language teacher. Tall and handsome, the new teacher was also had a great personality. He never yelled or got mad at his students during his lessons, and he always stayed calm. Yeon Soon felt her heart race when the teacher complimented her on her writing. The teacher even noticed when she recently changed her glasses and told her that the new glasses suited her well. Just thinking about him made Yeon Sun, Yeon Sun jittery with happiness. Yun Sun was really an average student. In fact, it would be more accurate to say that she was below average. She wasn't pretty or cute, nor was she good at academics or sports. She also gained weight in the last few years, and even her mother would nag her about losing some weight. Told you, it's, it's a thing. She was popular among her friends, and she was not particularly adored by teachers either. She wasn't popular among her friends. She was just a quiet student, always there in the same spot. That was how people around the world, uh, around her would define her. Yun Soon too knew that she was n- no one special and tried to keep her crush to herself. But as time passed, she could not hold her growing feelings inside. She didn't even expect to date her crush or anything. She only wanted to let him know how she felt about him. Yun Soon worked up her courage and wrote an earnest letter. Next day, right before the Korean language class started, she secretly placed her love letter inside the attendance sheet. She could not dare to give her letter to him in person. As the time reached closer for the class to begin, her heartbeat went faster and faster. Finally, the bell rang and the class began. But the teacher who came through the door was not the Korean language teacher. It was the gym teacher, who she disliked the most. He said that because the Korean language teacher is running late, he will be supervising the class. Yun Sun felt a cold sweat. Many things raced through her mind. 
Would he call out attendance? Would he find my letter? If he did, would he just pretend he didn't see it? But the reality she faced was harsh. The gym teacher opened up the attendance sheet, found Yun Sun's letter, and read it out loud to the whole class. The classroom soon filled with the snickering and jeering of kids. The gym teacher then openly mocked her that even the fat, ugly kid yearns love just like everyone else. The disgusted looks and sneering from the class made her scared. Every single one of them was her enemy. She felt as if she had fallen into the hell surrounded by demons. Right at that moment, the Korean language teacher entered the classroom. To Yun Sun, he seemed like her savior. He was confused by the strange vibe in the classroom. The gym teacher, getting such a kick out of the situation, handed Yun Sun's letter to him. Yun Sun looked at him and hoped that he would calm the situation down and make things right. The Korean language teacher finished reading her, her letter and turned to Yun Sun. His face was twisted by a mixture of disgust, annoyance, and anger. It was as if he was looking at a repulsive insect. Her embarrassment and the sense of betrayal was too great. She killed herself that night in the school, but nobody spoke of why she really killed herself. Oof. These are rough. Jeez. All right. I unlocked it. So young. So young. Hey, so young Han. <sighs> um Oh god. I'm going after so young this whole damn time. I can talk to Sung A. Uh, she's ignoring me again. If you're still chasing after her, you need to snap out of it. It's just, no, it's just a coincidence. Really? Just a coincidence, huh? She runs around like she's possessed or something. This whole school feels like it's been possessed or haunted or something. Ugh. Uh... I think the school has a lot of ghosts with unfinished business. That's cute. You're very nice. Worrying about the unfinished business of spirits. There's a complaint box sitting in the new building reading room for students to voice their concerns and complaints. But I doubt any student ever solved anything by using it. And I'll bet all the teachers forgot that it was even there. The living all suffer. But don't you think the dead suffer more? Why does no one listen to the things I say? I listen. Wait a minute. Where is Ji Hyun? Wasn't she with you before? Yeah, I was questioning that too. Come on. Why did you let her run off alone like that? What? You had better hope that nothing happens to Ji Hyun. I bet this whole thing is about So Young. That's why you don't even have a girlfriend. Stop being so salty. I'm new to the school. Why? Why are you looking at me like that? Got something to say? Yeah, baby cakes. Um, we should forget all this and look at the soy milk in my zipper. <sighs> look, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I was just scared and frustrated myself. She probably went to the new building. I'm gonna go look for her. Catch you later. Well then. And shit. Nope, 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 new building. New building. Oh shit, really? Come on. Come on. Come on, a place to save. I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. It's time for this to be over. I need it. Please. Oh, this feels like Fester's quest. Go to the new building. All right, hopefully there's a save point right inside of there. I don't know what I'm doing to... There used to be a small pond between the main building and the auditorium. I don't know what I'm doing to get what ending, but I'm gonna get an ending and I have no idea how I'm gonna earn it. New building, March 14th, uh, 2.55 a.m. 
excuse me, I need a whiteboard desperately, so if someone could just point me to that. Shit. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on! I need to be finished! That was close. Hey, exactly what the hell were you thinking? What was that? I was trying to find a safe place! Thanks for saving me. Well, the fact is that I still need your help. But don't make it into a habit. Now that I've found my way into the new building, I know So Young is a part of what's happening. Uh, what makes you so sure? I have my reasons. Hear me out. So Young's always there. Wherever we go, she gets there before us. We follow her, and all this freaky stuff just keeps happening to us. Doesn't it make sense then that she's up to something? Not necessarily. I don't like the idea that she's the culprit either. Your hand it's is obvious. big. She's involved in everything that's happening. Do you know where we're going next? The rooftop, fourth floor. I saw her heading that way earlier. She must have something freaky going on up there too. Freaky deaky. What's the problem? Don't tell me you still don't believe me. I believe you. You don't sound so believing. Well... Alright then, why don't you just go up to the roof and find out for yourself? See if I'm wrong like you think. I said I believe you! I have to go find Ji Hyun. Do what you want. Mix signals much! But make sure you know who to trust. What? Or else, you could be stuck here forever. Why did ghost sounds just start happening right, right when she, right when she said that? I don't like the ghost sounds happening right when she said that. I don't know where I am. Give me a freaking place to save it for the love of Jesus. Oh my god, please. Just give me a place to save it. Give me a place. Thank you. A place to save it. All right, I am finished for right now. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'm going to continue as soon as I can, and I hope to see you back here for the next part really, really soon. Bye!